What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Pizza has been many the downfall of a successful diet. I know how it gets. You get home late, you're cruising Netflix, you don't feel like cooking and you look at your phone and that Domino's app is staring you right in the eye. You say yes to that too many times in a row, your girlfriend's gonna leave you. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a delicious Chicago style deep dish pizza right in the comfort of your own home. That's not only gonna be loaded down with protein, but it's actually stupid simple when you see what we're gonna do for the crust. If you like pizza, you like losing weight and building muscle and you like a healthy relationship, then give this recipe a try because I'm telling you, you're going to take one bite and be in heaven. And if you want to have pizza night every night while you're still hitting your macros, losing weight, building muscle, hitting your goals, then don't forget, every pizza recipe on this channel is available in my cookbook, which you can find at the link in the description box. And it's not just pizzas either. We got breakfast, we got lunch, we got dinner, we even got protein desserts. If you've never found a diet you've been successful with for the long term, then perhaps giving this one a shot while you're eating foods you actually enjoy is going to be the secret to your success. Link in my description. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! In today's video, we're gonna take the term pizza pie to the next level. For our crust, to save on time and also give it a completely different vibe than what you're used to, we're gonna be using a pie crust. I'm telling y'all, wait till you see how this turns out. Now, when you buy a pie crust, it is going to come with two tubes just like this. And the reason it comes with two is because when you make a pie, typically, you roll one piece of dough out as the bottom, and then once you fill it, you put the other piece of dough on top. But it's a pizza, so we only need one. So what we're gonna do is grab an eight inch cake pan, hit it with nonstick. Now we're just gonna remove the pie crust from the package, we're gonna unroll it, and we're gonna push it down into our cake pan. And then once it's in here, you might notice that it wants to fold in a little bit. All I'm gonna do is use my hands, kind of press this in, make it stick, and fold it around the outside. And then once you got the edges nice and formed, just take a fork, you wanna poke some holes in the bottom of this dough, that way it doesn't get too puffy, it'll let some air out. And perfect. Now we're just gonna toss the crust in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. That's gonna make this thing golden brown and ready for the stuffing. All right, we're gonna set a timer and let this do its thing. And after 10 minutes, our crust is looking pretty good. You can see it's crisped up, it's got a little brown on it. Smells amazing, if you were here, you could smell it. It's in a great spot. So right now, what we're gonna do, push this to the side, and we're gonna grab a few ingredients to create a nice, meaty, high-protein filling for our pizza. We got 448 grams, or a pound of 96% lean ground beef. And then when it comes to pizza veggies, for me personally, I'm a fan of green peppers, white onions, and mushrooms. If you don't like those, you can skip them. Or if you have your personal favorites, toss them in in place of these. What we're gonna do is preheat a large skillet to medium high heat, hit it with nonstick, then I'm gonna toss the beef down in and fry it till it's brown. Now once we get the beef browned, we're gonna toss in our veggies, mushrooms too. Then I'm just gonna go in, stir everything together, let these veggies cook and cool down and incorporate with this ground beef. I'd say we got probably three or four minutes and this will be perfect. And at this point, don't forget to add a little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of black pepper. All right, guys, now that the meat filling is done, let's actually build our pizza pot pie. First thing I'm gonna do is take 224 grams of fat-free mozzarella cheese, and I'm gonna put it in here as the first layer. If you've never had a Chicago-style pizza before, the toppings are put on basically the opposite of how they are on a traditional American-style pizza. So instead of sauce on bottom, you got cheese. Then on top of the cheese, I do like to sprinkle a little Italian seasoning. When that cheese melts, it's gonna push down into the melted cheese and give it a nice, authentic flavor. Now we're gonna swoop in with our beef filling and layer it on top of the cheese. And once we got it all in here, I like to go around the edges and make sure all of our meat is tucked in right under that crust. And it wouldn't be a pizza without some pepperoni. So I have 30 grams of turkey pepperoni and I'm just gonna lay this flat on top of our beef. And then finally, the last thing we wanna add is pizza sauce. I'm using 35 calorie a serving roasted garlic to add some good flavor, but you can use traditional pizza sauce if you'd like. We're just gonna take a spoon, pull sauce from our jar until we reach that negative 305 weight. And once the sauce is on here, just go in with your spoon and slowly spread it over all your toppings. Don't go too crazy with it because you don't want to go over the crust, but if you're careful, you'll get it right up to the line and tuck it in just like you did the meat. 
And now that we got our sauce spread out, all this needs is about 25 to 30 more minutes in the oven at 400 degrees and she is gonna be perfect. I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after 30 minutes, we just pulled this out and let me show you the magic. We're just gonna pop this right here. Boom and boom. Look at that baby. And now literally the only thing left to do is to take some Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it right on top. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Anabolic Meat Lovers Chicago Style Pizza. Isn't this thing beautiful, guys? I always try to preach this to people, but really, when you see your favorite foods, they're not that hard to make on your own. Little bit of knowledge, the right recipe, with the right ingredients, you can make foods like this fit right into your diet. So anyways, we're gonna cut this with a traditional pizza cutter, and one thing you'll notice about the crust here is that it's very soft, very flaky. So when we put our pizza cutter on here, it's basically just gonna fall right through. And all we'll do is get under our piece with a spatula, and bingo, baby, look at that. We got the melted cheese, We got the the beef, the peppers, the onion, the mushrooms, the sauce, the pepperoni, and to set it all off, we're gonna eat it with a pie crust. You can't tell me, that doesn't look amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Helps the channel out more than you know. Comment down below, do you have a favorite pizza you wanna see me take a stab at? Let me know, I'll give it a shot and give you a shout out. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Now, before this gets any colder, I think it's time to give it a taste test. Let's go. All right, guys, now before I hop into this, just a friendly reminder, the two new Anabar flavors that are coming back, reimagined, we have the milk chocolate peanut butter and jelly, along with the white chocolate cinnamon toast crunch. Both of these flavors will be dropping January 27th at 3 p.m. Central. Set a reminder now, because I guarantee we sell out. And then the restock of everything else that's out of stock right now will be next Tuesday, January 18th at 3 p.m. Central. And as always, you can grab the best tasting protein bar on the market at finalbossperformance.com. Code RJ of 10 on save you 10%. All right, ladies and gents, we are in for a treat here. Which piece do I want? I'm eyeing this one right here. It seems like a good bargain. Ooh, oh my gosh. There you have it, folks. I don't know about to you, but to me, that looks like the perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. Guys, until you've had a pizza where the crust is a pie crust, I don't think you've truly lived. It just has this flakiness and this sweetness to the crust that is honestly mind blowing. Let's go for another one. Ooh, you can't tell me that doesn't look good. And the way the meat mixes with the onions, the green peppers, the mushrooms, the Italian seasoning with the cheese, all that flavor comes together to create something that is not only high in protein, but incredible. Really, it's freaking incredible. And the best bite on this thing is when you can get a huge helping of that pie crust and you got the cheese in the corner. It's like a cheesy flaky pastry with some pizza ingredients. Wow, I think I did myself. Now in this entire pizza, if you make it exactly how I did, which you end up with for the whole thing is only 2,025 calories, 73 grams of fat, 190 grams of protein, 152 grams of carbs with six grams of fiber. Now compared to some of the other pizzas we do on this channel, where we make the homemade dough and all that stuff, you'll notice this pizza has a little more fat in it, which all in all is totally fine if you are hitting your protein goals and hitting your calorie goals. So right now I'm probably gonna eat about half of this. If we cut this into eight slices, for each slice, it's only 253 calories, nine grams of fat, 24 grams of protein, and 19 grams of carbs. So half of this will be right at 1,000 calories, around 100 grams of protein. I'm right on track to hit both of my daily numbers, no problem. And really, if I wanted to, when I'm shredding, I'm typically eating around 2,000 calories. This pizza, technically, if I fasted for breakfast, made it for lunch, had half of it at lunch, maybe another piece for a snack later, and then the rest of it for dinner, with these numbers, that would be hitting my macros perfectly. Like I always preach, there's no foods that are inherently off limits. You just have to get in that kitchen and make the better versions. All right, folks, I'm gonna hit you with that final bite. It's the magic one. It's right in the corner with the melted cheese and the excess of pie crust. Got the toppings on there and it's a hit. Let's go. Mm. Folks, not only is this pizza incredibly easy to make, even if someone with no chef skills can whip this up, but honestly, the flavor, the texture, the pie crust for a crust, the uniqueness of this gives it an easy 10 out of 10. I know if you take the time to make this, there's no way you're gonna regret it. And you already know if you have my cookbook, it has been updated, so this recipe is now in there along with every other recipe on the channel. If you want the ultimate cheat sheet, the easy button when it comes to dieting and losing weight, then check out my cookbook, follow us in here, and I guarantee you're gonna see results. Link in description. All right, ladies and gents, 
Defense. I am out of here. Hopefully y'all's New Year's resolutions are going well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. If you did, thumbs up button and comments mean a lot. They really do. Once again, I apologize for Anabars being out of stock, but I'm telling you, on the dates I showed you, they will be returning along with new flavors. So bear with us, guys. We're a growing company. I know the bars are freaking incredible, but you know what they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Maybe it's fine to take a few weeks off. I'm just saying. Appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, boom, boom. We out of here, baby.